Hi everyone. Hi everyone. In the previous video, we implemented the infrastructure layer for the location feature and started implementing our location qubit at the application layer. Uh, as if you remember, we used uh, we added user location field to our state, uh, and now we are going to start implementing our location qubit. So uh, let's start. Uh, the implementation and jump into the code. Uh, so if you remember, we depend on, uh, we implemented the location service. Let's inject the dependency here, like this. Final location service. Let's create the instance for the location service. And our Inje the injectable package will automatically uh, find uh, what uh, location service implementation we use for our app and uh, inject the dependency here. And also, let's not forget uh, annotating location qubit as injectable so that uh, in injectable will generate get it co code for location qubit. Uh, which will be useful when we create instance for location qubit when we provide it in the presentation layer. Okay, uh, let's jump into the code. Uh, so what we want to do is to use this position stream, listen to this position stream. It uh, gives us uh, location, which is the user's uh, location, and we will emit this uh, location to the state. Uh, and the state here is the field. Uh, we will emit the user's location to the uh, state. Uh, so what we get is going to be emitted to the state. Let me write the code and we will talk about what we need to do first after this. Okay, so this is basically what you want to do. But the problem is, uh, in order to access the user's position, we first need to be sure that the user already shared their permission and uh, enabled location services. So, and we don't have this information here. Therefore, we first need to open subscription to our permission qubit and check if the location uh, permission and services are already enabled. And if it is enabled, we are going to open position stream subscription. And if it's uh, and while the user using the app, the user may uh, go and close the uh, location services or uh, deny the permission while using the app. If that, in that case, if that happens, we just need to close the position stream subscription in order to not get error from the, the geolocator package. So let's start implementing this functionality. Uh, let's create permission qubit instance here. If you remember, permission qubit is a singleton. So let's uh, create the instance, and we already created the instance uh, by dependency uh, injection. The instance is created. Now uh, we are going to use the state of the uh, permission qubit to. Uh, determine whether to open the subscription or not. Let's create a new variable here. Boolean is location permission and services enabled. I know that it's a long name, but it's a descriptive one. So in the state of permission qubit, we have a state called is location permission granted. And we want to also check 
if is location services enabled. Okay. Uh, when constructing location qubit, the first thing we check is the existing state of the permission qubit. Now, we are uh, depending on the this boolean result. If uh, both of them are okay, we are ready to open the subscription. Okay, the first happy path is okay for now. And there is also one more thing to do. Here we open a, a stream subscription. We need to open uh, create a uh, stream subscription object. Uh, we need to assign the this stream subscription to a variable to be able to open and close it in different places. So I am creating a stream subscription here. Let me check the type. Stream subscription of location model. Let's call it location mm, user position subscription. And let's assign it to here. Um, now we are we assign this, and finally let's before moving any forward, let's close the subscription here. Yep, it's also done as well. Uh, we override the blo blocks close method. This method is triggered whenever the block is being disposed, being closed. So whenever this block is closed, we are going to cancel the user position subscription. And the other cases that we talked about, uh, the user may change the uh, status of permission and uh, per permission granted status and lo uh, location services status. Uh, so we need to listen to the changes uh, of per permission qubit state after making the initial check. So let's uh, listen to the qubit state. Permission qubit stream. This is the stream of location permission states. And let's listen to it pairwise. Uh, let me think. Heartbeat. I guess we need to import our start first. Uh, permission. I think could can you mute yourself a bit? Okay. Uh, thank you. Start with, and now we can use pairwise. And pairwise returns us a stream of list of permission states. If you remember from the previous videos, uh, pairwise is a stream property provided by Rx that can be used uh, for listening to the changes in a stream, just like you do in block listeners. Uh, you can check the previous and current state of your uh, qubits and blocks. So let me just write the code and you will understand it right away, I guess. We will have a pair of states. And the first element of this pair is a previous. And it's 
pairs first. And the other one is current, which is the last element of this pair. Uh, the first element and the last element, both of them are permission states. So uh, we will take action depending on uh, the change. So if previous that uh, is location permission granted, mm, we will take a boolean check here. Uh, let me think. How can I simplify this? Uh, I'm just gonna copy paste this one, or or I can go to permission state and create a boolean getter here in order to get rid of the rapid code repetition. Is location permission granted and services enabled? And the value of this getter will be equal to uh, the end of these uh, fields. So we will use this de derived getter in location qubit. So this makes this allows us to update the is location services and Per, uh, permission is location permission and services enabled field as well. We don't need to define this anymore. So I'm just going to use permission qubit dot state dot is location permission granted and services enabled field that we just created. And now, uh, similarly. We are going to use the same thing here. If previous is location permission grants and services enabled field is not equal to current one. And if it's currently available, uh, enabled, so previously we weren't able to watch the user's location, but now we are able to. Then, what we can do is to open the subscription. So I just copy this code here and paste it to here. And if I previously, I could be previously uh, able to uh, listen to the user's location, but maybe I lost the permission now. So and in that case, I should just close the subscription. As if, let me just copy this part. And let's just put a knot here. In this case, the only thing I need to do is to cancel the subscription. That's all I need. Okay, and one final improvement that I can do is to reduce the code repetition. Uh, here, as you can see, I get a location and emit the state. I can make this thing in a method, I guess, in order to repeat, uh, remove code repetition. Um, Erkan, I have a quick question for yeah. you. Uh, on line number 37, when we are uh, creating the user position subscription, uh, yeah. is it a good practice to cancel it first in case it's already open, or can we safely uh, assign the subscription there? It's, a, it's actually a good idea. Uh, better that we first uh close the subscription in order to uh, not open it twice because 
sometimes you just forget that you open subscription somewhere and accidentally reopen it again. It's always a good idea to put uh, cancel first, cancel that subscription first, and then open subscription. Even if it's not opened yet, since you have this operator here, uh, nothing is going to happen. If it's already null, if the subscription is already not opened, nothing will happen. But if it's opened, it will first cancel the subscription and then open open it again. So it's it's a good practice to do it here. But in the first case, it's already the first uh, thing that we called in the uh, constructor. So in this case, it's uh, not going to make any difference. Okay, and let me remove the code repetition and complete implement uh, complete the block to block communication between location qubit and permission qubit. So let's implement the handler. Here we have a method that takes a location model input. Just watch me here. You will understand what I do in a bit. And I'm just going to copy it and remove this function with the handler that we just implemented. So, oops. I think I made a typo here. Yep. yep. Uh, so, both of the then whenever I listen to the position stream, I'm depending on the user position listener right now. So, uh, if I need to add additional comments here, additional emits. Uh, it's going to take place in both line 37 and 23. So we prevented code repetition here as well. One last thing, one last thing. Here we open another uh, subscription here to per permission qubit, as you see. But we haven't assigned this subscription to any stream subscription variable. Uh, just like we do to position stream, we need to cancel this stream subscription as well when we close our block uh, and qubit uh, whatever you use so let's create a, a variable to keep this stream subscription uh, its type is list of permission state uh, permission state pair subscription and assign it here and close the subscription then the qubit is closed okay i guess that's it uh, Thank you very much, Sorry? Uh, what are we doing next? Uh, the next thing we need to do is to integrate app lifecycle qubit the location qubit. Uh, when the user goes to the background, uh, the operating system doesn't allow us to track the user's location anymore. Therefore, the geolocator package th uh, throws some exception. So therefore, we are going to utilize app lifecycle qubit to uh, manage opening and closing of the subscription uh, as well. Uh, so that's the plan for the next video. Okay, sounds great. So see everyone in the next video. Bye. Bye.